What's dirty guys? My name is Ramin and welcome to another episode of Would You Rather Why Answer Random Would You Rather Questions that either you guys submitted or from YouRather.com and I do like the trend that we have been on recently where I've just been answering your guys' Would You Rather Questions and not the ones from YouRather.com and I hope we can keep that up and we can. All you have to do is submit your own Would You Rather Questions down in the comment section below and uh, I will answer them in the next video and of course if you missed any of the previous episodes feel free to click on the link in the description below below it'll take you to the entire playlist and you can watch whatever ones you miss i do recommend the first couple episodes because we did things a lot differently than the way that we do things now however we are going to continue on with this trend by answering your guys' questions and only your guys' questions and uh, i do i absolutely love seeing your guys like all the new faces around here like hdvxl uh, michelle smashing snow and so on and so forth and of course i love seeing the reoccurring questions from people like quino slow majority and i do hope that uh, you guys keep submitting your questions but without further ado let's move on to our questions that you guys submitted on last week's video our first question comes in from quino who asked would you rather be a ninja or be an assassin um well assassin kill people and i'm not I, i'm not one of those people who takes joy into killing people at least not in real life i mean if it was a video game i'd probably pick an assassin but uh, taking it in the real world, let's say, you know, I have a choice of becoming a ninja or becoming an assassin. I'd probably take a ninja because, okay, yeah, ninjas probably do kill people or uh, probably kill the ones they have to kill. But, I mean, assassins, uh, I, I, okay, when you say assassins, I don't think, like, you know, the ones that are covered, you know, like, cover their faces or up in shrouds or whatever. Uh, I think of the ones that, like, the hitman kind of assassins. Those kind of assassins is what I think of, you know, the people who goes and kills presidents or whatever. Certain people, they're hitmen, they, they get hired to kill. And I, don't, I couldn't be, like, that I, I would much rather be the sneaky kind of guy that goes in uh you know goes in and steals something very sneaky you know go in without being seen leave without being seen that kind of thing uh, like i said for the sole reason that i couldn't really kill people uh, at least not as a profession like i said i'm to me anyways ninjas are the ones that uh would kill uh, if they absolutely have to but anyways thanks for your question quino let's move on to our next one which comes in from eggton324 who asks would you rather cut off your eyelids with scissors scissors sorry or rip out all your teeth with a wrench um see the way i'm looking at it is uh, uh, the amount of teeth you have to pull out i, I don't know i don't i honestly have no idea how many teeth we have uh, as humans but there are a lot more teeth than there are eyelids and so uh, i think i would much rather cut off my eyelids you know I think it would just, you know, a pair of scissors, just two quick, like, slices or whatever, and you're done. And that's it. Yeah, it's going to hurt for a while, and but I don't know. To me, it's just like, to me, cutting off your eyelids would be a lot less blood and pain than it would be, uh, than it would be for, like, pulling out all of your, what, I don't know how many teeth we have, but let's say, I'm just going to ballpark and say 30 teeth. Uh, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I have to sit there for, you know, 30 holes or whatever and that's gonna be painful you know what i mean a lot more painful than it would be for eyelids so i would much rather cut off my eyelids with a pair of scissors rather than rip them out uh, rip out my teeth with a, with a wrench but thanks for your question eggs and let's move on to the next one which comes in from michelle who asks would you rather work in the navy or as a front line soldier i honestly don't know too much about like you know the different sections of the militaries and stuff like that and what each one do i think the navy is to do with the boat stuff and i mean i guess when you say frontline soldier you know the guys that are out there in the trenches and stuff like that um but i'm not i'm not a water person i'm not a boat person i, I i'm honestly not and you know not not saying i get seasick or anything i just don't take the i don't get any joy out of floating on a boat in the middle of the water i guess <laughs> um so I think I would much rather be a frontline soldier, just because of the fact that it, I just, to me, it'd be more entertaining, you know, the, all the guns and the bullets and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, I, I would say my likelihood of dying in the front line, as a frontline soldier are dramatically higher than in the Navy, but uh, just like I said, I would much rather, you know, go big or go home. Let's go with that. That's my answer. <laughs> Uh, next question comes in from, uh, from Slow Majority who asks, "Would you rather wake up, wake up naked and sore, and have the Burger King man next to you saying you had it your way, or wake up naked and sore next to Ronald McDonald saying you were loving it?" <laughs> uh, I always get a laugh when I read this one. I, I've actually uh, heard this one before. I'm not sure. I might have already answered it in like one of the early, early episodes of uh, "Would You Rather," but uh, I always do enjoy 
answering this one and I would much rather wake up next to the Burger King saying you had it your way just because of the fact that well one Ronald McDonald's a clown I mean how sad and pathetic you gotta be to that you sleep with a clown like now even if it was a girl who was dressed up a clown I do not find that hot sexy or or attractive at all I, it would be embarrassing to me uh, I like for me uh, you know role playing as clowns for sex or whatever you want to do with, with clowns is just absurd I, I find it really d weird and i wouldn't want that okay and sure he says you were loving it yeah i was loving it but loving what what exactly what i okay you may have done something to me that i do not want to me i may have loved it loved it but i probably didn't want it you know like i'm not into butt sex okay <laughs> you know I, I don't want things you know put up my butt all right but of course i mean uh, well, okay uh Yes, I do I understand that these are both males that I'm having sex with and that things are going to be going up my butt anyways. But I mean, like, you know, I'm just saying, like, I, I didn't have it the way that I would want it to, to be done. You know what I mean? But, like, with the Burger King one, he's a fucking king. Look at him. That guy's all blinged out. He's got the money. He's rolling in it. You can tell just the way he's, you know, looking at him. And uh, I, had it, I had it my way. I had it the way that I wanted. Not the way he wanted. Not that anyone else wanted. Nothing funny went down. I had it the way that I want it. So that's why I would much rather wake up naked and sore next to the Burger King saying I had it my way. But <laughs> uh, that's the question's always fun. Let's move on to the next question, which comes in from, comes in from HDVXL, who asks, would you rather have one million subs, but they all hate you, or have two subs total? I'm guessing these two subs would love me. Uh, personally, personally, if it's just two subs and I never ever grow, I would probably just stop. But when I say when I say like never grow, I mean like I I tried for you know a year, year and a half, two years or whatever, and I never grew past two subs. I would honestly just stop because you know there's no point uh, in in going on. I mean if I'm only having a two two person audience and I never grow, honestly I think that would like kind of beat me down. Like I would be so discouraged to do it to me it would be like what's the point you know like like uh, but you know having one million subs it's just like <sighs> how do i say this like having one million subs and they all hate me that can be really like again discouraging both of those options are very discouraging but at least with the two subs i don't have people you know calling me names and making me feel like shit so uh, in the long run i would much rather have two subs over having a million subs and hate me even though having a million subs may make me you know a, a lot a lot of money or make it so i you know i can do this full time but I, w I honestly would much rather have two subs so I don't have to deal with the bullshit that one million people would send me every fucking day. But anyways, let's move on to our next question, which comes in from Smashing Snow, who asks, Would you rather be a ninja or a samurai? Um, I know it's very similar to our first question that uh, Quinnell submitted, but uh, I'll answer it anyways. Uh, a ninja or a samurai? Um, I, see, it's funny because I don't really know that much about samurais, to be honest. I mean, what what do they have? Some kind of sword, katana, or something, and then like some weird looking armor. Um, I don't I don't know like their their I guess like the workout or the regimen or whatever it's called. Uh, I have to go through and you know what the purpose of a samurai is exactly like are they guards for you know china or whatever or japan whatever they are wherever they are uh <laughs> so i'd probably pick a ninja again just be just because of the fact that you know my lack uh my my ignorance of samurais i guess you could say uh as cool as they were but i still think ninjas are are even cooler no matter what the samurais are just because of the fact that you know they're stealthy and you know they're just in and out and i don't know just to me when i think of a ninja i think of a badass Okay, that that's my answer. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, our last question comes in from Swerve It Up, who asks, would you rather live in the I Am Legend situation or the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas situation? These are, uh, I Am Legend's a movie, in case you haven't, uh, in case you didn't know, and GTA, of course, is, or San Andreas, GTA, whatever, is, of course, a video game. And uh, I, I think that the I Am Legend situation is, like, way too depressing <laughs> like okay, not depressing but like you know it's a, a was it a post-apocalyptic situation there's zombies or something like that or monsters mutation yeah, mutants or whatever it is i can't remember it was a while ago i've seen that movie and it's just you know everyone's in poverty and all that shit and while in the gta okay yeah i shoot up 
uh, gangsters and steal cars and sleep with hookers and all that stuff. Uh, but at least, you know, uh, I have money and I have women. And, and, and you know, I have a, I can have a life that isn't depressing, I guess you could say. So if you give me those two op uh, uh, options, I'd probably much rather live in the GTA uh, San Andreas situation. But anyways, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments, your, your what you have the questions down in the comment section below. Uh, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay dirty.